Hello and welcome to the latest episode of LDTV. As you can see today, we're down here for the match against Port Stewart Football Club. The study's first home game of the season. I'm only on the 21st of September, but hey, who am I to come in? And uh, it should be a good game, so let's go straight in and look forward to the highlights. So two all in at the end and the hindsight probably a fair result on the day, with the Whites doing well to come from two goals down to take a point, although there's also a little bit of frustration that we couldn't claim all three points at the end of the match. Sadly once again an issue which we've seen far too often in the last few seasons reared its head once again, that being our constant slow starts to games. First 15 minutes could have saw us dead and buried, but once we got beyond that period then we really lifted our game and it fully deserved at least a draw from the match. Somehow or other, however, we do need to learn to come out of the traps a little bit quicker. 
and go after the opposition from the start of the game. Be more proactive rather than reactive, and if we can do that, then I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. Elsewhere in the Blue Fin Sports Premier Individual League on Saturday, and United made it three wins in three games played, although they were 4 1 up at 40 minutes and were then hauled back in by Lima Valley to 4 3 before eventually settling themselves and seeing the game home. Bangor and Newington also remain with 100% records, with Bangor thumping Armagh City 6 3, thanks mainly to a hat trick from former distillery player Mark Cooling, with Newington winning 1 0 at Donnerstown thanks to a Johnny Gowdy penalty. Elsewhere in the final game of the day, Tobermore snatched a 1 1 draw at Banbridge courtesy of a 93rd minute leveller from Ryan Whiteside. Looking at the league stands, we can see that the Whites point moves them up into 5th place in the table on 5 points, with Anna United continuing to lead the way on 9 points. Lima Valley United remain the only side still to pick up a point this season. After Saturday's game against Port Stewart, I sat down with Whites captain Aaron Harris to get his thoughts on Saturday's game, and also how the recent change in management has impacted on things at the club. And here's what Aaron had to say. Aaron, uh, first of all, that was a strange game of football. I think even the first half was a game, a game of two halves. Started slowly, picked it up from there. Your thoughts first of all in the first half? Uh, just like you said, first 20, 25 minutes. To be, to be fair, we, we haven't really come out of the traps. Uh, and to be fair, they haven't really had to work hard for their goals either. One's a, a set piece from a corner, which we're, we're disappointed about. And then one, obviously, Barry makes, it, makes an error, which he puts his hand up right away and puts his 2-0 down after about 25 minutes or so. And then from the end, we've, we've got a foothold in the game. Uh, we've got back, back to two each before half-time and possibly could have went ahead. Uh, the half-time whistles just came to the wrong time for us. Yeah, yeah. Did we do enough in the second half to win the game, do you think? I would say so. In the second half, there was only one team that looked as if, as if they were going to score with big Nicks come on and hit the post. A few wee half chances here and there. Cross has been in that box. I can't really remember off, off hand anything that, that they've sort of way troubled us but I don't think Jonah had very much to do in the second half so probably disappointed uh, that we haven't given away with all three points but you can't give teams head starts and expect to, to win games in this league. In terms of the start of the season then we've had one win, one draw, one defeat so it's been pretty mediocre uh, so far. Proper mixed bag yeah it's, yeah it's just trying to get that wee bit of consistency. Uh, it's quite hard because league games as we know are, are few and far between. Uh, in this league, so when, when they come up, you need to sort of way pick the points up. But all we can do is dust, our, dust ourselves down and be ready for Strabane from next week in the, in the Irish Cup. How's the team settling into the change of manager? Now, I know you have to be careful what you say here, <laughs> obviously, but uh, how, how's things going? Not a problem. Uh, every everyone's gelled perfectly. A uh, few few new different ideas that, that people are buying into, and the manager knows we're buying into them. So all positive from our end. Okay. And finally, you did mention there's Strabane next week. Their junior side, but they're not going to be an easy game because they've done very, very well in the Irish Cup in recent years. So, hard match. Yeah, 100%. Everybody knows it's cup football at the end of the day. Anything can happen in cup football. Uh, we've, we've we've probably took some decent scalps ourselves. So, it's again, you turn up, you you be as professional as you can, and, mm-hmm. and you try and get into the hut for the next round. Okay, Aaron, thanks very much for coming. Right. Thank you. Lisburn Distillery's annual golf day will take place this year on Sunday the 6th of October and will once again be held at Ballyclare Golf Club. The winner's title will be once again up for grabs for the golfer with the best score and also for prize for nearest the pin and longest drive competitions. Prices remain unchanged from last year to take part and that's £40 per person which includes a meal after the competition. There's also a whole sponsorship available for £200 which includes a free four ball and meals for that sponsor and individual hold sponsorships also available without the four ball offer at a cost of £50 per hole. Supporters who do not wish to play but would like to attend the meal can do so for a cost of £15 per person. And further details on this great event can be found on the club website and social media. So that concludes today's show. But just before we do go, it's a reminder that our next game will be this Saturday, that's the 28th of September, when we host Strabane Athletic in the second round of this season's Irish Cup. Kickoff that game has been recently set for 1.30pm, however this is subject to change. So please check our social media feeds before setting off to the match. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in once again, and hopefully we'll see you again next time around. Until then, it's bye for now. Come on you whites.